gold and lead are two metals that are commonly found together in nature. However, while gold is a valuable and sought-after metal, lead is typically considered a waste product. Therefore, it is often necessary to separate gold from lead in order to extract the valuable metal and make use of it. There are several methods for separating gold from lead, each with its own advantages and disadvantages. One common method is called cupellation. This involves heating the mixture of gold and lead in a cupel, a small, flat dish made of bone ash. The lead oxidizes and is absorbed into the cupel, while the gold remains in the center of the dish. The gold can then be easily removed and purified further. Another method for separating gold from lead is called smelting. This involves melting the mixture of metals together and then allowing them to cool and solidify. As the mixture cools, the gold and lead will separate into distinct layers, with the gold on the bottom and the lead on top. The lead can then be easily removed and the gold can be purified further. A third method for separating gold from lead is called amalgamation. This involves using mercury to dissolve the gold and separate it from the lead. The gold is dissolved into the mercury, creating a compound known as an amalgam. The amalgam is then heated, causing the mercury to evaporate and leaving behind the gold. Each of these methods has its own advantages and disadvantages. Cupellation is a relatively simple and straightforward method, but it can be time-consuming and may not be suitable for large quantities of gold and lead. Smelting is a more efficient method for separating gold from lead, but it can be dangerous and requires specialized equipment. Amalgamation is a popular method, but it is also potentially hazardous due to the use of mercury. When separating gold from lead, it is important to take safety precautions to prevent exposure to harmful substances. Mercury, in particular, can be toxic if not handled properly, and can cause serious health problems if ingested or inhaled. In conclusion, separating gold from lead is a process that is often necessary in order to extract the valuable metal and make use of it. There are several methods for separating gold from lead, each with its own advantages and disadvantages. Regardless of the method used, it is important to take safety precautions to prevent exposure to harmful substances.